this will make the sixth time I've recorded this. Hey everyone, this is Sin. Um, now I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated spray image for use in Team Fortress 2. Uh, first off, some programs you're gonna need. You're gonna need uh, VTF Edit, which edits VTF files. Um, I think they're the, I think it's Valve Texture File. Just what, it, just what it sounds like. And you're going to need Photoshop or an equivalent image processor like GIMP. Something that could open, a, that could import an animated GIF file and save each frame as a PNG with transparency. So let's just get straight to it. You have your source GIF over here. Fire up Photoshop. Apologies for the inevitable sniffling. I just got over a cold and I'm probably going to be doing it all. Drag and drop your GIF into Photoshop. This GIF is only six frames long, so it has six layers. Yes, it's a pony. Deal with it. <coughs> what I do, just to make it easier on myself, it may, it may not be easier for you. Is I save each one of these layers as a PNG before I start. So, save as PNG one. Save as PNG two. PNG three. Four. Six PNGs on the desktop. Close the GIF. No. Drag those PNGs in. Make sure they're all in order. Now, for transparency. Image like this, all I want gone is the white background. There's no fancy gradients or anything. So I can easily use the magic wand, select it, delete it. Now, anything that is black, when I spray this image, will show the wall behind it. So all I'm going to see is vinyl here in the turntable. Delete that black layer. And wand out everything from every frame. Background from every frame, rather. So now we have six frames, all with proper transparency. Make sure it's still on order. And save each one. There. It came out of order on my desktop. Lovely. So we're done with Photoshop. Make sure you have all six here. Open up VTF Edit. Now what you want to do is select all six or however many frames you have in order. Turn that off for now. Um, and just import, hit OK. OK, we have quite a large image now play or cycle through your frames first make sure they're all in order in the arrows next to the frame dialog and you can hit play <laughs> make sure it works now click on info team fortress 2 does not let you use spray images that are over 120k as you can see one and a half megs is a little over 120k so to rectify that, new, 
import. No. Don't do don't do new. Just import. Import your frames again. <clears throat> now check this little box that says clamp. This lets you choose the dimensions of your spray. As it sits now, these PNGs are 500 by 500. That's big, especially for a spray. Usually when I make sprays, I make them 128 by 128. <clears throat> it's plenty big enough for enough detail that you would need. Because people are going to be flying past these anyway, they don't need a lot of detail. Clamp basically limits the dimensions and makes your file smaller. So set the check clamp, hit 128 on both of them. Hit OK. Scrub through your frames, make sure they're all there. Hit play, make sure it works. Most importantly, click info. We've gone from 1.5 megs to 96k. That is plenty under the 120k limit that TF2 gives you. Once that all checks out, once you're under 120k, once you're sure all your frames are in order, it's save. Save it as whatever you want. Lionel scratch dot BTF. So now you have a BTF file on the desktop. Close out BTF edit. And then go to any, uh, wherever your Steam directory is, Steam apps, your Steam name, Team Fortress 2, TF, Materials, VGUI, Logos. Sprays are kind of deep. And then just drag and drop your VTF into that folder. Close that. Start up TF2. Oh, um, do Next, I have music here. Okay, once TF2's finally started up, go to Options, go to the Multiplayer tab. You can see your previous spray there. Now click Import Spray, navigate to TF, Materials, VGUI, Logos, and then double click or open spray that you just the VTF that you just put in there you should see it in this little box here so apply okay start up a training game just to make sure it works
the terrain game. <clears throat> I'm just going to choose red just because there's a lot of flat walls to test a spray on. Oh god, frame rate. That's what I get for recording window TF2 with fraps. Go to wall, hit T. There. So awesomely cute.